Hi everyone, welcome to Upside Video Support Training. In this video, I will share how to filter the event dials from the smart connector to a local destination. So filters for smart connector are exclusive filter hours. The events that meet the character filtering criteria are not forwarded to the destination. And during the smart connector setup, you can configure the character to use the filter conditions that do not pass events to the destination according to specific criteria. Uh, for example, in, like you can see here, in this token, I received so many events from so many SOC devices, uh, such as Mark A fee, Tipping Point, Microsoft, Nexus, uh, Unix, and so many other SOC devices. And there are some events from some sort that I don't want to receive it in the locker. So I want to filter out it. For example, I received a Cisco event from the Cisco Netflow with the name Cisco Netflow event. And I, I want to filter out this event to let the connector is not sending this event to the local so how to do this first on we need to check on the connector side uh, in this uh, video i am using a test error connector we it can send so many so even from so device to the local uh, the first thing we need to do is stop the connector first And we go to run agent setup. In the configuration table, I will choose modify connector, add modify or remove destination, and choose the destination that I want to config for the filter event. This in this case is the local destination and I will choose the modify destination settings I choose the filter here in this filter arrows box I will add the <coughs> filter condition for example uh, in this case I want to filter arrows event from Cisco Sotify where the name equals Cisco Netflow event and the device event class ID is flow. So the criteria should be like this. This should be a name contains Cisco Netflow events. And the device event class ID should equal flows because I only want to filter the event with the name Cisco NetFlow event and the event events class ID is equal flows uh, so I will skip with the severity of the event here and press next done with the editing destination setting exist now I will start the connect again uh, let it to send events to the local destination oh. I will load from the event and let the character to start sending event to local you can see there's so many events sending now Now I will go back to the local and wait a few minutes till the event reaching to the local destination and search with the condition of the Cisco NetFlow to see if the event reaching or not.
Okay, and now I will try to search with the condition of the event that I added to look to this connector. Where is it be name contains Cisco Netflow event. After we apply the filter on the connector, there's no event contain the name Cisco NetFlow reaching to the broker anymore. If I search with the over time range, then there will be some events from this reaching. But for now, there's no event reaching out to the broker. And this is um, a simple example of about the criteria for that you can use the smart connector user guide you can see there are so many criteria that you can use for example e eq mean equal to ne mean not equal lt less than and there are so many usable operations that you can use here to filter out the event query all right, so this is how we filter out event from a smart connector to a local destination. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.